This is it. You're now done with your website project. Can you believe it? You're here. Website strategy, done. Website design, done. Check, approved by the client. Website development, done and done and done every single page. And you are super excited. You're pumped to share to the whole world what you have been working on for the last few weeks. Nay, there I say, the last few months. You've poured your blood, sweat, and tears into this project. And I know you're excited to go ahead and press publish and launch it for the world and announce it, tweet about it, LinkedIn, whatever. But before we do that, I do recommend that you pause, put the brakes on a bit, because you might miss probably the most important phase of your website project. It could be a make and break for your website. And that is what we like to call in our agency, the pre-launch phase. And within that pre-launch phase, we have a tool that we call the pre-launch checklist. And in this video, we're going to go over that same exact framework, that same exact pre-launch checklist that we use to launch our website projects, whether they be small or even our massive, larger website projects. In fact, this checklist is so successful that we've actually trained someone in our team who is not even a Webflow developer, but then they know it, they've learned enough Webflow to be able to go through this checklist. And now whenever we launch websites, they are launching with all the I's dotted, all the T's crossed, everything good to go because of the pre-launch checklist, because of this system. Now, in fact, you can actually just skip this video if you want. Just download the checklist by clicking the link below in the description. We went ahead and place it there. That's totally free. That's for you, whether you're an agency or a marketing team or a for developer, you want to use this for your website projects, you can have it. Now, if you want to stick around and watch the video on how we use it in our agency and how you can use it as well effectively and efficiently, then make sure you just keep watching the video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is the pre-launch checklist. Like I said, we use this in our agency. In fact, fun fact with this one, we've actually now transitioned into a way where I'm not the one that's doing the pre-launch checklist anymore. I used to be the one that, that pretty much every website project goes through me and I go through the pre-launch checklist um, uh, for every single website to make sure that it's good. But we've actually trained one of our team members Fun fact, who's actually not a web developer. He is one of our web designers and he's a very talented web designer, but he actually does not know Webflow. But because this template or this pre-launch checklist is built with all the details. And of course we taught him a little bit on how we can work on all, on, on all of this, but now he is the one that's successfully going through every single website project and he's in charge of QA, making sure that everything is good to go. So this could be used if you, let's say, run an agency, you can assign someone in your agency to be the one to go through this uh, pre-launch checklist for every single website project. If you're an internal team, you can ask someone to go through that with you, uh, to go through this for you. Or if you are the web designer yourself, you can kind of go through this, your website project with this pre-launch checklist. So this pre-launch checklist actually has two parts. Okay. First off, we have the main pre-launch checklist. So this is notice it says pre-launch checklist for the whole site. And then this one is the page to be duplicated. So the plan for this is uh, uh, you would go ahead and duplicate this page. So first off, you'd go ahead and duplicate this page, uh, press duplicate, right click duplicate, and then make this to be the home page. And then you would kind of do that subsequently with every single page, make this the about page and so on and so forth, so that you are going through every single page. This pre-launch checklist is meant for you to go through every single page, making sure every single detail is correct. So right now I'm gonna go over every single item, uh, just one, just kind of going over them, what you need to be checking. And remember, go ahead and feel free to download this uh, pre-launch checklist. I'm going to put in the link below and uh, hopefully it could be a help to you. Okay. So with <clears throat> the page to be duplicated, as you duplicate a page, so let's say this is the home page. You could even kind of change this. If you want to make this, uh, you want to put this there, you say home page. Okay. So now we have here, first off is QA. These are the most important things to QA. You want to make sure that all of your links are correct. 
You want to make sure that all that you are using components so that you are enabling to update in sync, meaning that when you update the footer in one page, you're able to, it's updating in every single page as well. You want to make sure you do that. Uh, you want to make sure that none of the content is overflowing to the sides, right? You can use no overflow, um, you know, overflow none or whatever to make sure nothing's overflowing to the sides, especially if you're doing a lot of sliders or transitions or animations or big items. You want to make sure you do that. You want to make sure there's consistent section padding across your breakpoints, okay? What I mean by that is when you, your browser gets a little bit thinner, a lot of times people don't put padding on the left and right. And so the text ends up being like right on the edge of the screen. Okay. You want to make sure there's some padding there. Correct text sizing across breakpoints because it's inside margins. The padding across all browser widths or breakpoints. Uh, ensure image sizes are, that are set to VW or VH have minimum and maximum widths. This is actually very important. A lot of people forget this. What I mean by this is like a lot of people like to put their images as, you know, VW, meaning that as the browser gets bigger, then the images get bigger. But then you got to think about like really large, uh, really, really large uh, monitors. Like your images are going to be so big. So make sure you go through that. Make sure external links. This is just us. What we like to do is that whenever it's an external link, it opens to a new tab so that, you know, you're always kind of on the same website. Correct copyright year in the footer. In fact, we have uh, what we do is we have this JavaScript that uh, the copyright year kind of self updates every single year. Check. Make sure you check the page on other browsers like Chrome, Safari. Uh, make sure you do that. All right. Especially if you're working in Webflow. Uh, if you ever experience working in Webflow, you can you you know that sometimes Safari can mess your page up and check page on your phone. So after QA, and we have some additional info here as well, okay? After QA, you want to go through accessibility, making sure that people who have certain disabilities are still able to access your page, whether they be, have a visual impairment or or any of that, right? You want to make sure you have alt text for your main images. Now, some images are going to be set to decorative, like your icons, your arrows, your logos. They, de they, they certainly don't need uh, an alt text, but your main images should. Make sure your text colors have a contrast rating, a double A AA or triple A. If you work with Webflow, there's an automatic, it's already there for you, it's done for you, so make sure you um, check that, all right? Notice we have some text here. Use your eyes when checking text over image backgrounds. Check through the page using keyboard only. I have here a little tip how you can do that, your best tab on a on any page and you can kind of go through each link um, and then make sure you don't have any text based images okay that's not good accessibility and then an important thing is optimization you want to have good page speed scores on your on your pages so make sure images are under 100 kilobytes um, turn off most animations on mobile a lot of your animations probably are not applicable to mobile so that's just good general practice and i have some details there and then seo you want to make sure in the page uh, you have a meta title, you have a meta description, and an OG image. Now, some of you may be a little more detailed with that. That's totally fine. Uh, if you want to have different, you know, uh, open graph titles and open graph descriptions, us typically, we have it all the same. Our search titles, our open graph titles, they're all exactly the same. We kind of just put check all the same. So then we just put a meta title and a meta description and then OG images. So this is something that you can use for every single page on your website meant to be duplicated. And then the next part is this right here, the main pre-launch checklist. This is for the whole site. And a lot of this is going to be done in your site settings. For example, in our SEO, you want to actually disable the Webflow subdomain indexing. You want to have an auto-generating sitemap, all right? Um, and then I even put warnings there if you choose to go manual. Uh, you want to make sure you have a global canonical tag URL. Make sure it's the same as the default d domain you set when publishing. Um, add a good Google Analytics measurement ID. So if you're doing any analytics or tracking, which I'm pretty sure you should, right? Make sure you have your analytics measurement ID. If you're using Google Tag Manager, make sure you put the code snippet in the custom code in the head and in the body. I have your add in the head code. Um, and sometimes they have a body as well. Add Google Site Verification ID. This is for Google Search Console. These are kind of three important aspects in your analytics and your tracking. Now, of course, if you have more, let's say you have Hotjar or uh, Marketo or Munchkin or whatever, then you can go ahead and put that in the head code. Your forms. This is really, really important. Make sure, especially if you're an agency, all right? If you're an agency, make sure your form, the form email is set to the client because the default, in, especially in Webflow or in Webflow, the default is going to be your 
email. You don't want that. Uh, you're going to be getting all the leads uh, for them and they're going to miss out on the leads. So that's important. Set your email to send form submissions to subject link, reply address. If you have reCAPTCHA, make sure uh, you enable it and you set it up correctly. And make sure you submit a form to test it out. If you have integrations, make sure you test that out. Check the fields in Webflow settings and check the fields in the email. Um, and then last one here, launch prep. Uh, make sure you upload your favicon. Make sure you upload your web clip. Turn off the Webflow branding, like for example, the website branding and also even in the code if you want to do that. Make sure you set the proper 301 redirects. We even put there a link for you to uh, learn more about that. Set your DNS. Now this is for your DNS. When you're about to launch it, set your DNS to TTL of lowest time possible so that when you do launch and you switch your A records and C name records, it launches, you know, it, 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 it launches as fast as it can and it um, uh, kind of uh, recaches as fast as it can. Um, set your advanced publishing options. For example, uh, if you have SSL, all of that stuff, add your A records and DNS, add your CNAME records and DNS, add your TXT records and DNS, and publish. So this is the pre-launch checklist. Make sure you download that. Uh, you can have it, uh, and this is, hopefully this will be a help for your agency or for your company. And that concludes our video. I hope that was a help to you. I know I kind of talked a little bit fast there, uh, but you can. it's pretty self-explanatory. We put as much detail in that pre-launch checklist for you. And because we really built this so that anyone in our team, even if you don't know Webflow or if you don't know web development, you can kind of just follow this step by step and making sure that every single page and that your website is QA'd and ready to launch and set up for success. So make sure you go ahead and download that link. I think I said that like five times already. I apologize about that. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. We are Unfinished, a web design agency, a Webflow expert agency, and we work with companies in the startup and also in the enterprise level. We help them build creative and innovative websites. We post a video about web design or web development or Webflow every single Wednesday. So make sure you tune in and hope you have a great week. Bye.